hello voice engineers namaste and welcome to my youtube channel i hope everyone is doing well stay safe uh, today we are going to see the mdcp endpoint registration process and how it looks on the debug side so uh, it's mandatory for mdcp controlled endpoint to get registered with the call manager server otherwise it won't work call manager will not process call through that particular endpoint which is not registered with the call manager server so even if suppose you have a pri which is up and active from the provider side you have configured it on the voice gateway with all the proper commands with all the channels and the l3 binding but until and unless it's registered with the call manager it won't work the call will not get processed through it so it's mandatory for mgcp controlled endpoint be it pri fx or fxs or any cas to get registered with the call manager so it shows at as registered on the call manager under mgcp voice gateway under mgcp gateway so what happens when mgcp endpoint starts the registration process well, so if you see the, see my screen on the slide this is the process that starts and aha uh -huh, and the MG, mgcp endpoint gets registered so this is also recommended that once you configure mgcp endpoint on the voice gateway uh, do bounce the mgcp using no mgcp and mgcp command so it's kind of turning off and turning on no mgcp and then mgcp so that it downloads on all the required configurations from the call manager and registers the particular endpoint so once the registration starts the gateway and the call manager open a tcp socket between them so the tcp socket has to be opened uh, from the both the sides after that so even this tcp socket open process can be seen in one of the debugs which i don't have handy as of now but the debug is the debug IP TCP transaction and you'll be able to see how TP, T, TCP handshake is happening. After that, the voice gateway sends a RCIP to the call manager. RCIP is restart in progress and this command is to inform that gateway is being brought into service or endpoint uh, has been restarted or endpoint is you know trying to get registered. So RCIP means that. One more thing is all the messages either sent by the gateway or the call manager has to be acknowledged by the other party. So once the gateway sends the RCEP to the call manager, call manager has to acknowledge it. Next would be once the call manager acknowledges it, the call manager will send a audit endpoint. This will be per endpoint from call manager to the voice gateway and again the voice gateway has to acknowledge it per endpoint after this the endpoint gets registered but there are some scenarios where you might be able to see that the rcep uh, the voice gateway is not sending a rcep to the call manager in that case the endpoint will not get registered all the messages are important all these commands are important it might be possible you will be able, you'll see that gateway is sending the RCIP but call manager is not acknowledging it again in that case the call endpoint will not get registered now the second scenario can be with audit endpoint acknowledgement it might be possible the call manager is not sending the audit endpoint at all that means that particular endpoint will not get registered and the other way is it may be possible the call manager is sending the audit endpoint but the gateway is not acknowledging it again in that scenario the endpoint will not get registered now after all this successful exchange of messages rcep acknowledgement audit endpoint acknowledgement once the endpoint is registered in the call manager the call manager also sends an rqnt a request notification or request to notify it asks the gateway to inform the call manager of any changes if there are any changes that is happening on the void that particular endpoint please notify me that's what call manager is asking the gateway 
and that is being acknowledged by the gateway that will let you know if there are any changes on that particular endpoint so this is also per endpoint now this is the flow uh, uh, the step by step process how a mgcp controlled endpoint gets registered on the call manager now let's see how it looks on the debug side today's video is going to be short it's today i'll be covering only the endpoint part the call flow of mgcp and debug will be the next video so this is how it looks on the debug side so to capture the rsip ACK, audit endpoint ACK, all those things the uh, registration process you have to use the debug mgcp packets you will be able to see all the messages under this debug once you collect the debug run the debug mgcp packets and start the registration process or bounce the mgcp where the registration starts you will be able to see this messages so it starts with rsip where we have seen in the uh, call uh, that uh, flow is rsip will be sent by the voice gateway to the call manager so this is how it looks mgcp packet sent to call manager ip address over port 2427 it says sent since this packet is sent by the voice gateway to the call manager so it will print as sent message name rsip with the endpoint number so this is the endpoint and for the voice gateway this is the name of the voice gateway rm restart now this will be acknowledged by the call manager so you will see mgc packet received from the call manager over port 2427 you might see a call manager ip address or the host name of the call manager 200 okay for this message rsip next you will be seeing a audit endpoint received from the call manager so you will be seeing mgcp packet received from the call manager ip address over port 2427 which is udp 2427 with this we discussed in the last video audit endpoint for this port for this voice gateway so this is the endpoint for this voice, voice gateway and again this will be acknowledged by the voice gateway so mgc packet sent to the call manager ip address over port 2427 and this is 200 okay so this audit endpoint has been acknowledged and at last you will see a request notification from the call manager so you'll be seeing a packet coming from call manager so mgc packet received from call manager to the voice gateway that's why the, as the voice gateway is receiving this packet that's why it's printing the received word from call manager ip address over port 2427 rqnt for this endpoint of this voice gateway and here the important is r l slash hd means line line hang down hd hang down is to pick up as hang up means to put down the cradle hang down means to pick up the cradle so it's like that hang up hang down so uh, rqnt coming from the curl manager and the same has to be acknowledged by the voice gateway so mgcb packet sent to the curl manager over port 2427 200 okay so this is how it looks on at the debug side this is the MGCP endpoint registration process. Next, uh, I hope you like this video and understood what I have trying, uh, what I tried to explain you guys. If you have uh, any doubt, just comment uh, on this video. Let me know. I'll try to explain it again. Next, I'll be coming with uh, MGCP call flow and the debugs for a normal call flow. And as a lot of guys were requesting, are requesting for SIP videos. After this MGCP last video completes, I'll start the SIP. I'll not start HT23. So I'll start with SIP, and SIP is going to be a lot of, uh, for SIP, there will be a lot of videos. So because SIP is very vast. So uh, I hope uh, everyone is fine and uh, keeping safe and during this pandemic. So uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, like the videos, share it someone might get help from this and uh, let me know if you have question any questions thank you have a great day namaste